Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Moonlighter. I, uh, backed this game on Kickstarter, and got the pre-alpha, I guess, backers release? I don't entirely know. How do I go? Ah, there we go. Ooh, loud. Okay, can I turn that down somewhere? Yes, I can. Oh, and it's controller based. Okay, that's easy enough. Why is this the resolution? Oh, that's better. Oh, I really like, I really like these options. They feel good. Okay, seems reasonable. Cool. Okay, so, uh, yeah, so I backed this game on Kickstarter a couple months ago. It was through the, uh, Square Enix Collective, and it looked awesome. And it still looks awesome. This, this is really classy. I like it. Uh, almost kind of reminds me of, like, a Game Boy game, but with a way, way more detail on it. I don't know, just the, the basic, like, um, 4x3 with the, the sidebars reminds me of when I used to play Game Boy games on my... N64, sort of. Anyway, new game. I'm excited. It's a shopkeeper RPG-ish. In a distant world, strange runes appeared, mazes full of strange items and enemies from other worlds. The dungeons, that's how they were called by the people who approached to burgle them. Renoka was the name given to the village that germinated around them. Two types of people founded Renoka, heroes and merchants. The former looked for fame, the latter looked for gold. Now, 70 years later, dungeons are not as prosperous as they used to be, and life is harder than ever, especially for the oldest shop in Renoka, Moonlighter, and its youngest owner, Will. So, fair point, I kickstarted this game without looking at more than just the basic promo art for this and the concepts. I'm already not regretting it. Okay, so... Actually, it looks like it's going to control old-school Zelda style. We've got a roll. I can't seem to attack yet. Um, but yeah, I've got a... I've got a dodge roll. I do seem to have some kind of broom. Oh, I'm excited for this. This looks awesome. Uh, let's see if I can start picking up some of these. The answer is no. Okay, so this is just telling me that I can roll. So it's not going to unlock some of my options until later. So I can roll over gaps. Makes sense. Can roll over obstacles. I can roll over projectiles. Okay, now I can attack. So I've got a broom. And right trigger to heal. Gotcha. Now it doesn't look like I've got much of a combo, it's just brooms broom jab. Am I just cleaning up my basement? I feel like that's what I'm doing here, but that's okay. It's a little bit clunky, but maybe that's just because I'm, uh, I haven't gotten further in yet. Okay, so what is up with this weird hairball thing? Oh, it, it does look like there's a, uh, three-part combo here. Okay. So we've got, uh, let's see. Quick move all. Okay, so we add that to my inventory. So there's personal inventory, and then there's backpack in inventory. Makes sense. Okay. I, fabric. Hardened steel, gold runes. Oh, I see. And we can see selling and reactions. <laughs> so this looks like it's going to be kind of a modern reseteer. Sort of. Okay. So it actually looks like combat is going to be a bit more, um, a bit slower and more methodical. I might be in trouble here. There's a lot of enemies. Okay, are these... Okay, doesn't look like these portals can be... Mother... Okay, I don't know if I'm overusing these potions. I assume uh, I keep pulling right trigger. Yeah, I assume I'm not supposed to kill these things, so maybe I'm gonna just save my potions here. <laughs> oh, I got... I got murked hard. I should have specifically kept fighting or saved my potions. Oh well, we'll get more probably. Poor boy. Even you are alone now. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Well, guess it's time to rest. We just like wake up and the old man spooning us. <laughs> no. Okay, that's probably for the best. This really does feel like a modern modern re day reciteer. I 
really like that. I mean, Reseteer is fairly recent, but still. He has been so curious about the dungeon since he was a child. Wow, even found some some of Crazy Pete's notes. I wonder what happened to that loony. Good morning, Will. How is the little merchant doing? Listen, Will. I know you don't have any relative here to help you. It's something common among merchant families. We venture into the dungeons to benefit from the items we find there. But, in return, they take our life slowly but steadily. Even though a merchant pendant takes you out of the dungeons when you faint, but then damage your body is already inflicted. Use the pendant before things get too serious. And please stop using that broom of yours. It's dangerous to go alone in the dungeons. Take this old sword I used back in the day. I like that reference. I like the art. Well, that being said, get up and we'll try and sell some of the items you kept in your pockets. Remember, your grandpa was a great friend of mine. I'll try and teach you some of the tricks he used when selling. Look, the ladies love a long beard, so get growing. That's the first part. Second part is never wear clothes. That might not be good advice. Whatever. Come on, open the shop so customers can buy those items. Selling an item depends on several variables. Customer purchase level, item value, and item demand. Do we open, ah, hold to open up shop. Can I place stuff? I don't even know if I have anything in place. That expression was the best you can get from a customer. Not too cheap, nor too expensive. Pay attention to the visitors' expressions when they look at your prices. They'll help you set a fair price for them. That one meant it was too expensive. Mister, come back, I'll take my shirt off. Finally, be careful when selling an item too much. Once you satisfy people's need for an item, you'll have to offer a better price. So make sure to take more profit when there's high demand for an item. Take a look at your merchant notebook. There you can find every info available on the items you sell. Okay, HP potion. Oh, so it seems like you kind of find a good sweet spot and then we go from there. Though it might, uh, the sweet spots might change based on price and such like that. Okay. Wow, look at the time it is. That will be everything for now. You'll discover the rest on your own. Make sure you bring glory to this shop. I know you can. Runs in your blood. Now, let's go out and so you can try out your new sword at the dungeons. At night, dungeons are more dangerous, but also more profitable. I should know. I only go out in the dark. I'm secretly a vampire, don't tell anyone. Remember, at night, dungeons are more prof uh, more dangerous, but also more profitable. You just said that, old man. Off we go, right, oh crap. I keep pressing the, huh, there's stuff all over the place. I don't know where the dungeons are. I'm just going to run in a direction. I'm really, really digging this, by the way. This is amazing. This looks awesome. Okay, so this is probably not where I'm supposed to be. So yeah, now we have like a more legitimate sword. Hopefully we can get some better equipment too. Oh, I've got I've got a shield so I can I can block. Nice. Uh, is there like a map I can pull up? Main menu map, left bumper, right bumper. Not select. None of these. Uh That's a calendar. Okay, so there's calendar system, there's these, there's this. I'm really curious about how this game's all going to pan out. Okay, so this just leads me back to the same place, question mark. Okay, so she sells... Oh! The recipes for potions. That'll be interesting. People in Renoka are so used to dungeon items that they've become part of our lives, and food. There's an old saying, the dungeons at night are harder, but gold shrines brighter. Which way to the dungeon, old man? Go to the dungeons to try your new sword. 
Oh, you know what? This is probably the dungeon, now that I'm thinking about it. Or... It just brings me back to the same place, so maybe it is the dungeon, I just had to go... Oh, over to this one. I see. As we progress, we will unlock different... different sections of the dungeon here. Okay. I am down. So let's... Okay, Golem Dungeon 1. Let's actually make the most of this, if we can. Uh, I say after taking extreme amounts of damage. Oh, you. Don't you dare. Take my goodies. There we go. Okay, yeah, unfortunately I burnt all of my healing potions in the beginning because I'm, I'm not used to the controls yet. I'm used to games where right trigger is the dodge, not left trigger. Could probably switch that around now that I think about it. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to the fact that I, I operate under up, down, left, and right. But that shouldn't be that big of a deal. <sighs> okay. So... And dead. Huh. I'm curious. I, I'm, I'm, will admit I'm maybe wailing a little bit here. I think it's because we're in tutorial time. Ow. You know what? Let's kill this thing first. I see. Oh, that's a new one. Okay. These are all new, and I s kinda suck at it. Yeah, those guys don't give you much of, like, a, a break. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to be able to hit them. So what's this? I have no idea. I, I am just kind of guesstimating and trying not to suck too hard, but I suck pretty hard. Okay, well, I'm gonna roll across to this, so that it's just like somebody's abandoned camp. Gotcha! So yeah, this is kind of a tutorial dungeon. I'll have to be better later. To anyone who finds this message, my life is fading out. After fighting that strange creature, my pendant is broken. I am to remain here, locked up in the dungeons I have studied for so many years. That creature! I saw it once getting out of a room on the third f in the third floor through an impressive door, but when it noticed me, it ran away. It left a couple of items really similar to our pendants. Now that I think... That creature has come back come to take them back. Those items, I spent some days studying them. I hope you can find some notes near them with their attributes. Please, to anyone reading this, find that door in the third floor. It's linked to the fifth do door of Renoka. Read. This strange cube is similar to the pendant we merchants use. By a high amount of gold, it creates a portal to get out of the dungeon. But what's... What makes this item really valuable is the portal created can be used to return to the dungeon without it regenerating. Due to its shape, I've decided to call the other item the mirror. This item seems to have been created to work with the other two items, as they require gold to work. This item gives the user gold by throwing common items into it. I wonder where do these items go? Yeah, tutorial dungeon. Could not fail this one, so I'll have to, I'll have to make sure I'm better equipped for next time. But so we've got a mirror that I can chuck stuff into. So, for example, like, broken swords, maybe. That's interesting. So, golem culture. So, there's probably going to be about five dungeons-ish. Oh, we do have a map. Well, I think we're done. Yeah, 100% exploited. Okay, so how do we... Merchant Mirror. Dropping an item in here will give some gold, allowing it to use the Merchant Pendant. Let's, uh... Oh! I can also have the broom. That's interesting. I've already forgotten how to open up my inventory specifically. Oops. 
Oh, that's worrying. Okay, why? There we go. So let's grab a couple of these and drop them off. Make a little bit of money. Oh, I see. More gold is required to activate the branch and pendant and the portal thing. Okay, so we want to find... Let's just grab all of that. I don't know about foundry rests. Maybe go with the... Well, let's drop off the swords for the time being. And merchant pendant. So let's get out of here. Okay. That's cool. I'm bad at this. Mainly those shooting enemies are going to be rough in figuring out the exact timing. Because you can't stunlock enemies, they attack you regardless. But I think that's okay. That's cool. So this is our shop. What do we even have? Iron bar, gold runes, foundry rest, hardened steel, hardened steel. Okay, so we have a chest that I can move things around in. I want to see if I can make anything before I just sell it. So I guess let's, uh... Let's wander around for a bit. Okay, same thing. So, this looks like a smith. Okay, so these require... tons of money. So this might actually not be to sell stuff. This might just be to... to upgrade my own equipment. It looks like there's different types of bows that you can go. Catapult bow, hunter bow. That's interesting. People say there are less and less items to be found in the golem dungeon. Okay. Yo, that sword seems like one of my toys. People used to think items were generated in the dungeons, but the recent decrease in number of items found suggests they're a limited resource. Okay, can't go in this house. I'm just gonna kind of wander around and see if somebody says something useful. Old tutorial man. Here's the only ones brave enough to venture in the dungeons at night. What a town, Renoka. Items found in Chester are known as culture items because they seem to have been used by other civilizations. Okay. People in Renoka, no, it's the same thing. I'm just trying to decide, decide if there's like a specific tutorial that we can do. So he sells... He sells potions, broom spear, and sword and shield, which is expensive. What about the other thing? Okay. So it looks like he sells golem culture stuff. Ish. Leave retailer. I was gonna try and see if there was some kind of like crafting system that I could like hook onto, but it doesn't look like it. So should I just like put some of my basic items up for sale and see what happens? I'm gonna put everything up for a hundred. And if it turns out that is uh, not the not the right way to go, no. We don't want that. Let's do gold runes. Maybe gold runes for like three hundred. Cause I I have no idea. We might be able to switch these things around. But yeah, it looks like people can... People will just buy the random junk that I find. That's interesting. I wasn't really expecting that. I thought I was supposed to, like, make stuff with this stuff. But no, I'm just supposed to sell the garbage that I pick up. Huh. Okay. Well. Uh. Oh. Didn't give the, uh, the iron bar a price. Gotta, gotta fix that. So we're just gonna do 100 for everything. 
and see what people have to say. Okay, too much for the iron bar. I'm going to drop the price down to 50. Maybe let's do that with all of these. I'd rather kind of undercut myself in the beginning than make no sales and be kind of screwed. Don't know about the gold rune. Okay, so he liked the uh, the gold rune. And she really liked the... Uh... Okay. So we're going to wait a bit. I love it how there's just like a link icon. Okay, so it looks like... Um... Okay. So... Iron bar, not worth much. Let's do 20. Uh, this was 50. I'm just gonna put these ancient pot. Okay, so people really liked it at that. Uh, oh, I see, it's on a per item basis. Well, let's just do one at a time, and I'm gonna put the price up to, let's put the price up to 100 and see if that works. Uh. Same thing with this one. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try and toe the line price-wise on a number of these things. And like I said earlier, probably going to be kind of poor. As an end result. But that's fine. I just wanna... I just wanna find, like, a... a base price for everything. Oh, it's like old Link. He's got like a beard and stuff. That's actually really cool. Okay. I wonder if I get to upgrade my shop at some point. Okay, so the plant fibers price is too high. Let's go right trigger. So 30 was too much. Don't know about teeth stone. Just right seems to be about 20, maybe 25 with the iron bar. Ancient pot seems to go for about 100. We don't know about broken swords because I burnt through all of those. And don't know about the rest of this. Hardened steel can go for more than 100. Okay, let's try 200. Okay, and the pots go for 100. Oh, and I can quick place them. That's nice. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm probably going to be uh, undercutting myself hard figuring some of these things out. Okay, so hardened steel can still go for a bit, fair bit. The vines... Uh, the vines are too expensive. Okay, so let's... Can I do a quick place? That's all of them. So for the price, can be more than that. I just want to place one. I don't know if people will buy more, uh, multiple or not. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep upping the price on them. Actually, you know what we could do. Let's just do that. Okay, and Ancient Pot, we know, has a, like a reliable price. Last one is the vines. I'm going to put down a bit. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it looks like you don't have to worry too much about fickle people. Okay, so 400 is too much. 300 is probably fine. On the Let's check the hardened steel bar again. So 300 seems to be the, uh, the happy medium here. I'm just gonna sell whatever I can while we wait. 10 for the vine is too much. Good to know. I'll probably stop selling that. Maybe there's something I can make with it.
Okay. It's interesting I don't have to be near the, uh, the thing. Okay, so let's do a teeth stone. I'm just gonna start with 50. We're gonna do everything probably starting at 50 until we get a better feel for these prices. I don't mind under undercutting myself. For things, but yeah, let's see if I can sell a whole stack of iron bars. Will they pick up one? She picks up all of them. Interesting. Okay, so the foundations sell for more. The teeth stone and whatnot do not. Okay. So I put that up for 50, and they really like that. So let's do 100. And drop your price substantially. Let's go like 10. And put one of these up for... Let's just do 100. Maybe 100's a better starting point for some of these things. Oh, right. Vines. I can't imagine I'm going to be selling vines that much. Okay, so the foundation can still go up in price. She, like, chucked it on the ground. Alright, whatever. Let's take these back, so they're they're not worth it. So that one had a good price. This one, I think, was worth... Uh, this is Merchant... Okay, Golem Culture. This is what I'm looking for. Foundry Rests. Oh, I thought I sold one of these for like 100. Okay. Maybe I didn't? Maybe I did, I don't know. One way or another, I got 2,000 gold, so that should help us out fairly well. Ooh, Quest Board. Vulcan's Forge. Do you feel dungeons are too hard? Tired of your old weapon? I can solve that if you bring enough money and elements. A forge to be reckoned with. So brute force is useless in the dungeons. Visit the wooden hat. Oh, staff? I can hire these guys, sort of. And then we've got two other people. Okay, that's something I'll have to look at at a much later date, because I don't understand. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to her. Brew a couple of potions. Okay, so there are enchantments, but we don't have enough. Well, that's cool. Okay, and the blacksmith is in bed. Do I do more? Not really. Oh, uh, what we should do, just in case we, like, die or something. Let's, uh, go back into our, our little shack. I don't know if we have to worry about death here, but we might as well um, just dump a bunch of our, uh, like a bunch of our basic materials. Oops, game was not happy with that for a moment. But yeah, I really like this game. It uh, it has some really nice Zelda style like dungeoneering combat, whatever. Hopefully they add some more puzzles so it's not just pure like roguelike dungeon crawling, maybe? I don't know, I just, I really like Zelda puzzles. Uh, I also maybe hope they uh, make it a little bit easier to fight on the diagonal, because some of these enemies are going to be rough to fight otherwise. Mainly it's just that shooty enemy. But maybe that's kind of the point. I guess part of it is I just need to, uh, I need to actually fight my enemies, um, not on part. Okay. These shooty things are noxious. I really need some kind of ranged weapon to deal with them. Actually, left bumper. It's probably not worth it. It's a spear. You 
you serious? Okay. I have un I understand how to fight these pot things. They're really annoying though. Okay. How do I use one of these though? How do I grab a healing potion? I have it. Oh, here? Did I use it? What happened? Oh, I did use it. Okay. That's how I use it. Okay, note to self, get more potions. A lot more potions. Now, can I go through here? Okay, so these guys are going to be really dangerous, probably. I'm just going to hit and run. Because I shouldn't be here. Twenty damage, too. Yeesh. Okay. Oh, those kind of don't do damage. Okay. So the shooter guys are not nearly as dangerous as they look. Okay. They do a lot of damage, but it's mostly... Death. Damn it. Okay. Can I try play again? Does it just let me redo the dungeon, but without any of my healing items? Yeah, backpack is empty. Everything in my pockets I get to keep. Okay. So the goopity goop just slows me down. Understandable. Also, if these guys pick up something, it's lost to the ages. I hate these things. I mean, it'll be okay. Honestly, once we get some better equipment, just in general, this is going to be a much easier experience. Okay, um, so... No. We wanna we wanna make sure everything in our pockets. I think I just duped an iron bar. I think I did. That could be that could be bad. Uh, I mean not terrible, but inconvenient. Okay, so for starters we don't want to go to the forest zone. I think we're finally in the uh, proper infinite dungeon. Having prabbles. Damn it. Alright, this is actually probably a good stopping point here. I could well, I will be key I, I will be continuing on, honestly, uh that's gonna be in the second episode. This is going to be in the second episode. This is all postcom anyway, uh uh, uh Put away the curtain. Let's talk about the game. So Moonlighter is amazing. I really like the visual style. The music is good. The visuals are great. Ambiance is nice, and the core concept is is brilliant. 
Uh, I think really the only, like, issue with the game necessarily is just the fact that the combat's a little bit clunky. And I think it just needs to be maybe finely tuned, or I just need need to get used to it. I'm not sure which. It'd be nice if it was, uh, like, a smoother, faster-paced experience. But maybe I just need to accept that it's going to be slow and that I just need some better equipment here. The sword is nice, but if I could get a spear, then we'd be in a better position. Or, you know, a, uh... Uh, like a spear or a bow or a big sword. Hopefully they actually uh, add like more varieties of weapons here so you can get some like truly interesting combinations like grenades maybe or not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I really like this game. Uh, it like like I've kind of been trying to allude to it feels weird. It feels like going from like an old school top down Zelda like uh, to this going from like an old school top down Zelda like to this feels like going from Dark Souls to Monster Hunter. It's just similar enough to feel really awkward. But once I master it, I think this is going to feel really rewarding, mostly. Uh, but, you know, the item collection, the, the basic core gameplay loop looks like it's going to be uh, really fun to go through, and I can see a lot of potential here. And it looks like they actually have some kind of plot. It's not just become the richest merchant ever, it's actually, you know, got a reason reason like why you want to keep going uh, further down and I think that's a really nice way of handling things and death and a lot of other things like this is a smart game and I can't wait to see where they go with it so uh, now for the uh, the hard hard questions when's this game coming out I have no idea when's this game going to be viable I have no idea when am I going to be able to play Moonlighter and by me I mean you guys and the answer is I really don't know I got the the pre-alpha early Kickstarter, yeah, and there is no telling when it is going to become available. But that's okay because this game is fantastic, and I would rather them take their time and you know iron out these bugs, these game gameplay issues, these you know small things to make it as good as possible before it you know becomes available for you guys, so it gets the best reviews possible and. So on and so forth, because this is absolutely the kind of game I want to be seeing on Steam more often. This is an absolute uh, gem of an indie game, and I can't, I can't wait to play more. So I guess with that, I will see you guys in the next episode of Moonlighter. Uh, it's super duper fun, and I can't wait to play more. So like I was saying, I will see you guys next time. And I forgot. If you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more, like I've, I'm trying to say here. I will be doing uh, more. I'm going to do a bunch of episodes on this uh, this pre-alpha. Conquer as much content as available and more or less uh, practice my chops and probably make a secret sp spreadsheet so when the game fully comes out, I can start over and be like rich as balls because I know what everything's worth. Oh, that's a painful death to watch after the fact. I lost that claw. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that's, that's going to be how the series is going to go. And that's it. So... I guess, like I was saying, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.